Hey everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Surviving Mars Green Planets. In this video, we're going to start up a new series. We're going to start up a uh, playthrough as Japan. I have not played uh, with them yet, and they are one of the harder sponsors to do a gameplay with. Uh, I think combined with, I'm going to lean for one of the harder mysteries, thinking Wildfire, um, or Metatron, don't really know that. Uh, I'm going to try to do some fun stuff here. So let's go mission sponsor. We're going to do all the way down to Japan. They are a hard sponsor. Uh, starting funding of $6 billion. 50 starting applicants. Um, only get 100 research per soul. And the rare metals price is very low. It's 20. Uh, we get the Wasp Drone, which is a faster flying drone. Automatic Metals Extractor is going to be helpful for us. A metal extractor that does not require a workforce. Uh, Rover's cost and weight lowered by 50%. Exploring a sector grants research points. That's helpful. All specialists perform better, but applicant generation is reduced. So the difficulty just with Japan is 290%. Paradox Interactive technically has a little bit higher, but I played with that, and it was a... Uh, you know, Russia's got a pretty hard one. Church of the New York. So it's on par with Church of the New York when it comes to rare metals pricing. Because uh, Church of the New York has 20. Let's see, Brazil, 35. Yeah, uh, Space Y, only 20. Interesting. Okay, yes, the soul is different. Uh, the uh, research is different between Europe and Japan. So we're doing that. Profile, um, I could do geoengineered. Note, it kicks your difficulty down a lot for that. That also um, and decreases the seed import cost. Oligarch, doctor. Who haven't I played with? I've played as a politician. Done futurists. Ecology. Ecologist. Yeah, that's right, ecologist. Astrogeologist, rocket scientist. I'm going to go just random for this. I don't know. Um, and hydroengineer would be pretty kick-ass, but I'll do random for that. Colony logo. Yeah, I'll just stick with Japan. Mystery. I've only got three left. I have Spheres, Wildfire, and Metatron. So I'm actually just going to keep it as random. Because I don't think you actually repeat any of these mysteries. We'll keep that at random. Rival colonies, we'll do three random for that. Uh, game rules. Um, ooh, what, do we, what do we not want to do this time? A long ride. That one could go suck it. That one took forever. That one added uh, a lot of problems. <sighs> Winter is coming would be an interesting one to do. I like doing inflation. And I'm going to do... I'm going to do chaos theory. Because if we end up having the wildfire mystery and farms or something that cost 30000 to research, that's going to be pretty kick-ass. Um, prefab colony would really kick it down. Oh. Hmm. I kind of want to do terraforming with it, but I could just easily turn off no terraforming. Or turn, on, or turn no terraforming on, so we're actually just playing a base game with Japan. Hmm. That would make it interesting. In fact, yeah, we're just going to do a base uh, Japan playthrough. No terraforming. Inflation. I'm going to leave it on, actually, because I've got that Green Planet logo that I really, really like, and I'm going to use it. So here's what we're looking at. This is a 290% difficulty. i got to... Hang on a minute. Okay, so random just keeps it there. Chaos Theory. 290. Amateurs will kill me. Oh, wait. Um, I'm of course I'm going to get uh, difficulty with my location, so I'm just running a 290% right now. One starting rocket, so definitely have to be able to build one Mars side. Um, ooh, fancy pink rocket. Let's just make the joke there and just keep moving on. All right, we got two RC commanders going down in the RC Explorer. Um, I could actually swap it out for an RC transport. Oh, there's no drones actually with it, so we actually want that. Prefab buildings, you're going to have the drone hub, vaporator, fuel refinery, sterling generator, just the standard, what you're going to need as a startup, and a bunch of orbital probes. How about there? Ooh. 
Altitude's kind of shit. So if I want to go for wind power, plus the cold waves. I don't like the cold waves. I really don't. This one's actually pretty good. We'll get some dust devils, and we'll get a lot of meteors. It's a 375%. Let's go there. Loading, loading, loading. Um, I will point out, I am recording this one on July 7th. I did not go to RTX this year, and I died a little inside. I really wanted to go. But nicely enough, uh, one of my wife's Welcome friends actually works for the company. I'm a hydro engineer! Um, standard read out here. I'm playing as the hydro engineer this time, which is going to be very helpful. Um, one of my wife's friends actually works for the company, and he offered to pick me up a shirt for it. So I didn't die as much inside, but I still died a little inside. All right. So, we got our water, um, we got our terraforming hints. Let's go to the research screen right away, see what we have. All right, now uh, rejuvenation treatment. <laughs> Robotics, I got the mole hole on as a 1000 research. Ooh, oh, 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 yeah. Um, I'm gonna do Mars Nouveau first. I'll do them productive, eh, no. This, 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 this. Oh my god, that is absolutely hilarious. This is a twenty to 30,000 tech that I got now. This is an absolute 20,000 tech that I got for nothing. All right, so I've got this giant thing in the middle. Um, we have water available here. Um, concrete metals, concrete metals. We need to find some rare metals. Granted, I would love to build the molehole mine right out of the gate, but it's not going to do anything for me. Um, terraforming stuff, that's fine. We do have a lot of metal on the ground here, so we could. Well, I don't have a transport yet, so. All right, so we got a couple of vistas there. That's going to be very helpful for us. I'm gonna scan this area up because we've got a lot of metals on the ground. We already have a key available too. Oh, let's go play. So Mars Nouveau actually got knocked out with that. What? Okay. That's super helpful. I don't know how I got that extra research so fast, but sure. Oh, right. Scanning a sector grants research uh, boosts. Derp. Okay. So a dome is pretty much going to go right here. Let's go ahead and drop down. I put that uh, put this thing in the wrong spot, actually. Okay, you go scan. You send your drones to go do some stuff. All right, and our wasp drones are going to go fly over and do things. All right, so we have three thousand or thirty five hundred concrete right here. That's good stuff. But let's just see how much a dome. Oh, look, that's perfect. We get two comfort boosts. It only takes 80 concrete, 30 metal, and 20 polymer, which I don't even have polymers, enough polymers for it. Right, because I'm also doing all that crap. I'm actually just gonna plop this down, just and just turn it off. Okay, they're actually going to start building things. Whoops. Alright, and let's drop my... I guess I'll drop a Sterling Gen next to it. Okay. We're going to start creating stuff. Open her up. Cool, cool beans. Um... I'm not going to pull up that thing, but we can just go to it. We have the GHG factory, the fungal farm, polymer and fuel refineries, drone hub. Ooh, drone swarm. Put that at the top of the list. Omega telescope is now available at 1,000. My god. Okay, this is the paradox playthrough all over again. This is the paradox colony again. All right. We got some water producing. Okay. Oh, don't. 80, 20, 10. Okay, fine. Let's turn that on. Let's also drop a Universal Depot down. I'm not going to put a... What am I thinking here? I'm not going to put a Drone Hub down. 
until drone swarm is complete for obvious reasons. Right. Um, a lot of water over here, which is nice. Oh, it's gonna be one of these playthroughs. Just head up there, please. Perfect. There's some polymers available over here too. So concrete's our limiting factor right now. Let's go ahead and drop a concrete extractor. There. And I'll hook it up like that. That way we keep a loop. And then once this dome is operational, I can take out that. Or just leave it in there and hook it into the water supply. Okay, we got a 13 surplus right now. So that's a good thing. Alright, so fuel obviously going to be a need for us right now. We'll go ahead and... actually hook it up like that. And I can build my fuel refinery on top of the Vista. So we won't lose that if I drop it in there. Although I will need to actually hook it up because I'm a moron. Okay. Still learning things. <laughs> Still trying to remember stuff. It's been a while since I played. Alright. And since it's my first video back, I've uh, thought of a few things I wanted to discuss. I'm actually going to talk uh, this video about Stranger Things uh, Volume 3 or Season 3. I did I get, get a chance to watch that. My wife and I binged the entire season on the 4th of July, which is the custom in how you really should watch uh, shows like that. Really enjoyed it. Uh, no getting around. I really enjoyed uh, Season 3. Uh, a lot of the 80s references. I was born toward the end of the decade. But I, it, I was able to pick up on a lot of the things that uh, were mentioned and referenced in the season. I've seen Back to the Future way too many times. I have Twin Peaks as an event right now, so I'm just going to put a pause in the uh, Stranger Things talk for a moment. A new and intriguing report has been filed from an orbital scan above the colony. Two anomalous readings have been detected at the same time, one near your landing spot and one far away in a different part of the Red Planet. One of your scientists is looking at the data and asks you, what are you seeing here, Commander? You look at the analysis and immediately know an answer. A beautiful vista. How could we have missed it before? Gives us a vista, more comfort. A promising opportunity for a research site. Gives us a little bit of research. Or an underground water deposit. I think that's only available if we are the hydro engineer. Uh, I'm okay with the research site because I kind of need it. Cool. And the scientist looks at the data and nods in agreement. Indeed, Commander, but the nature of the other anomalies and the yet unknown, there's too little data to even make an educated guess. That's right. The other coordinates require a thorough on-site investigation. You've discovered a new planetary anomaly, remote Martian laboratory. So um, I don't have anybody to bring down yet. And this guy has to go back before I can bring anyone up. I was really hoping that was going to be something cool. All right, let's go... Into the planetary view, it's Church of the New Ark, uh, Blue Sun Corporation, and India. We also have the remote... Wait, wait, I need this much to go get it? Ugh. Wow, did you get that on Soul 3? Jesus. Okay. So, Stranger Things. Uh... I'm going to talk just a little bit about the first two episodes. I'm not going to get into big spoiler territory here, so you're fine if you haven't watched it yet. If you don't plan to watch it, I recommend it. Uh, the first, if, if you haven't watched any of the show at all, the first season is a slog to get through. The first two, three episodes are really and slow, and then it really picks up. So season three starts off in the 80s in, where else? Russia. Wait, Russia? Yeah, Russia. That one. The... Found. Oh, wow. Way down here. Cool. So the Russians are now trying to open the gate. It goes horribly wrong, and a bunch of people... Mm, die. 
I, I want to figure out a better way to say it, but they, they just die horribly. Um, stereotypical Soviet general says, you have one year to figure this out. Fast forward a year. It's early, late June 1985. That's when we actually pick up the story. Kids are... You know, they've grown up a little bit since the last season. Mike and Eleven are together. Hopper is being the grumpy old man because, you know, he doesn't want to see his daughter dating. It's the, it's the stereotypical protective dad thing that we got going with him as well. And... Sorry, I'm finding a sensor tower to drop down here. The stereotypical... You know, overprotective dad doesn't want to see their daughter dating anyone. And I guess that was a research site that we just located. With it, um, that's kind of where the, the mystery kind of peaks uh, through that. Um, when the kids go sneak off, um, Mike and Eleven are doing their thing, and the kids are kind of off, off everybody's doing their own spiel. Lucas and Will and Lucas's girlfriend Max, who we met in season two, they're going to sneak into the movies with Mike and they go see a preview of Day of the Dead, which leads Will to realize that the Mayan Flare is still active. Uh, Dustin comes back from his little uh, from his uh, summer camp. Research complete. Because oh yeah, I found I met this really really cute girl. Oh ooh. Damn, we got some good text already popping up here. Um, so we kind of saw you slowly getting back into it. Uh, the mall is... Starcourt Mall is the big uh, new thing this season. The malls were obviously massive in the 80s. With it, uh, the invariable protests that come with it, because malls, even back in the 80s, very similar to how Amazon and e-commerce is doing now, is viewed as the death of small town America. And they, they emphasize that this season, showing off how Main Street Hawkins is pretty much dead. Uh, Joyce at one point is able to just pick up a bunch of books and leave her job for the entire day and nobody notices. But the mystery starting kind of starts building from there, and if I go any further and explain any more, I am getting into spoiler territory, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, very good season. Um, there were some moments that like, oof, oof. Um, it was a little hard for me to watch, but then again, that's just me. You know, some people will watch and like, oh, that's, that's nothing. But that's just kind of how I saw it. Uh, if you have watched uh, the entire season of Stranger Things, go ahead and leave a comment what you enjoyed about the season. Um, if you're not into the show, tell me why you're not into the show. Um, it's one of those shows that's like, oh, this is something that we don't know. Research complete. Anomaly oh, yes. analyzed. I'll send you over here. Okay, and since Drone Swarm is done, I can actually do this now without any problem. Hmm. Let's actually drop down a turban. I just need one, I think, for this. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need more than one. I'm gonna drop three here, and then that should be enough when the dome comes online. Okay, picked up all them polymers. Still gonna find some metals. Because uh that'd be that'd be really cool if we had some metal we can mine out here. Maybe start looking on this higher ground. See if there's anything up here. Wow, that sector's been pretty uh helpful. Also not seeing a lot of rare metals showing up here, so electronics are gonna be tough to come by, I think. That was helpful. Or maybe they change. Did they update the game to say metals instead of rare metals? I'm just seeing metals showing up everywhere on this one. RC transport would be real nice. To oh, wait. Derp. Hang on.
How long did it take me to figure that one out? Thirty-five hundred, thirty-five hundred. Great. I'm gonna bring two sterling gens and an RC transport up. I always forget about those things. Let's go ahead and set down also a landing pad. I think the landing pad's gonna go good here. Uh, Dome-wise, going out this way seems to be the smarter play, up to a point, obviously. How I've done this up already, I'm already un unhappy with it. I'm gonna have to like get rid of things to make it work. And here's a research boost. Research complete. Milestone achieved. All right, let's go ahead and drop down my drone hub. And I'll get some extra drones popping out here. There we go. Get these guys flying around to do some stuff. Get a new anomaly being scanned up here. What am I doing? Logi fungi. Ooh! That one first. Advanced Martian Engines has to be done first. Anomaly analyzed. Okay. Main reasoning, because that's going to be able to launch that much faster. Uh, let's go to the mile. Oh! Let's go to here. I haven't done the uh, difficulty goals yet. Six sensor towers. Uh, gets us 15 drone prefabs. Oh, hello. I didn't realize this one. Uh, build a machine parts factory, a polymer factory, an electronics factory. I have not looked at these ones before, so I'm really intrigued by it. You get a Martian University prefab. That goes toward the Bushido achievement, which has trained 200 specialists by Soul 100. Another reason you got to really, for Japan, you got to crank up the productivity as fast as possible and just start getting people onto Mars and start training them up as fast as possible. This one is doable. Uh, have 40 Martian-born specialists. Gets us 200 sponsor research. That'd be a tough one to get, but I'm going to go for it. Deep scanning 100 sectors. Gets us a Mega Trigon Dome prefab. Producing 2,000 advanced resources. Gets us 2 billion. I'm not really big on that one. That one seems kind of mean. But, these, um, but this goes into this, so I like it. We finished, for some reason, Waste Rock Liquefaction, which I don't think that... No, it all went to this one. Okay. What happened here? Oh, damn it, he got dusted. Crap. I've got guys who can go, uh, go help him out, so we're good there. Can we, you know, get this built, please? Oh, that's right, I'm actually grabbing all the concrete as it's coming out. Okay, so you can pack up two of your drones, unpack these two, and let's send this guy on a rescue mission. Sector scanned. Research complete. Sweet, Anomaly you found. are able to leave. Another unloading the fuel from him, which is a good thing. Storages, depot... Fuel. This needs to go here. We'll turn off fuel at this site and the food. Bring him down. We're going to send him back uh, research wise. Okay, Rover Command AI is good. We'll queue that up too. But we've got some. Chaos Theory is totally working in our favor right now. Go ahead and delete you. Um, you were not able to go do stuff, so I'm going to have you manually go do things. You're able to go? There we go. Milestone achieved. Alright. Now, while that's happening, let's go ahead and build some stuff in the dome. So if I'm going to tunnel out this way, I need to keep this one clear. I'll drop a research lab. Not going to drop that other stuff yet. Um, infirmary has to go in. And a diner. Yeah, there's not going to be much for these people to do in here. But again, this dome is off, so we should be fine power-wise. Let's also drop down a...
I'm gonna drop down a uh, power accumulator behind it. Plus, um, getting the hydrosynthesis up, we can actually start people, we'll just put them in the polymer factory to start working until we get machine parts and electronics factories operational. Okay, are you... Oh, you're just outside of range. Come on, go fix it, guys. Okay. He's up and running, so come on back. You go grab the Francis Scott key key. And soon we'll have automated modes up, which is going to be cool for us. Oh, finally some metal. That's very helpful. Um, 1,500 metals available there. I like it. Okay. So we're getting ready to go. Uh, we've got 11 available jobs, which I like. Um, as soon as the rocket gets back, we're totally going to load up some people. And I'm going to bring out some colonists on the first video. Uh, milestones. So we've got a bunch of these. Constructing a wonder, by the way, is 5,000 research. So if I had the materials to build a molehole mine, which I don't, I'd totally do it as early as possible. We've got a bunch of concrete being made out here. And, oh, I forgot about the two sterling gens that I picked up. Go ahead and drop those guys down. We'll get this guy uh, charged up as quick as possible. I'm going to close him up too. Reduce the amount of maintenance needed on him. Oh, there's another research uh, down in the bottom corner. So we'll uh, queue this up for him to do that. You head on back out and grab more metals. Keep Hey Hey doing his thing. Anomaly analyzed. Let's see what we have. Low G drive. Um, factory amplification. That was it, actually. There's more to yep. Alright, so we'll send him back out here to do more scannings. Research-wise, yeah, Rover Command AI. Hmm. That's a good one, but I'm actually gonna put low G hydrosynthesis up top. Just to get that one done a little bit Sector faster. Scanned. Anomaly found. Okay, um, actually, you head over here first, if you can get down into that bowl. Is it? Wow, is it? oh yeah, it looks like it's traversable here. Okay, okay, rocket is back, so let's order up some passengers. Filter. Perks. Cool, we have a genius. Make sure they're on board. Okay, flaws are all down. Okay, I'm down to nine applicants matching. Great. Okay, perks. Okay, we got our genius. We got sex. Okay, perfect. We can make this work. All right, so. Botanist, alcoholic, composed, nerd, alcoholic, alcoholic enthusiast, alcoholic gamer. I guess a sort of Ito must come up. Launch anyway. Turn this on. How much fuel do we have available? 33. Turn you off. Let's go ahead and hook up that water deposit. The water extractor, I should say. Just outside of deposit. Perfect. Okay. Um, outside branches. Wait a minute. Do I have enough for that? 20, 10, and 3. No, I don't. Okay. So I'll put the ranch down, knowing that it's not going to stay there forever.
I have 14 Decent. living spaces, 11 jobs. There, I can build polymer factories now. And, oh, that's already up and running. Oh, crap. Okay, I realized my mistake with this. It's going to dust all of these. Constantly. <sighs> Damn it. I put this one way too close. Hang on. i got to redo that. And I don't have decommission protocol, so I can't uh, get rid of it. And turn that one off. Until I can get like the triple electric scrubbers up and running, I need to keep that stuff from uh, doing that. Okay, I'm gonna go into here. I'm actually gonna do another rocket back here. There we go. We got water coming now. There we go. And you're almost into automate mode. Sector scanned. Okay, I got some metals available. You head all the way down here to do some more scannings. I could put a dome right on top of that and it'll probably stop all the geyser eruptions. So. Hopefully we get some planetary anomalies not long after we drop off this uh, load of colonists. And we'll be on our way. Um, comfort in this dome is going to be dreadful to start, so... We got the diner. I have to put it. I have no farming. Actually, no, I got my farming. What the hell's wrong with me? Um, I'm going to put a small grocer down. Stone garden. Pond. An infirmary. I'm going to put a small space bar. In here, hopefully, I can get uh, through the founder stage quickly. Start bringing more colonists down. So I'll probably demo some of this. Put another living complex down, and then uh, metals. I need a machine parts factory first, actually. First up for us is gonna be a machine parts factory. Research complete. Milestone achieved. New colonists have arrived. Auto mode. Right. Full of hope and determination, the first founders have set foot on the red planet. All right, there we go. So, comfort in here is 70, coming out of the gate. But we also need to put some of the food in here. I don't. I, need, I can unpin my uh, scientist. Okay. I'm actually going to do the chicken first. That way, we can get the food out that much faster. And I'll go between chicken and rabbits. That way, I get the food production. Because producing food is a little bit extra research. And then the first Martian Born's extra research, breakthroughs. It's just kind of just kicking everything up and getting everything going a little faster. Um, you can open up and be fine. I am looking at the time here. We are over the 30 minute mark, so I'm going to put a cut in here, but I'm going to keep recording. Uh, I have big plans for this colony. I have no idea what the mystery is, but I'm looking forward to doing it. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the videos that come out on my channel. Thank you all for watching this first video in the new series. Scanned. Research complete. Cool, we got another thing done, and I'll see you all in the next video.